to be a tailor takes you a long time to learn everything. When somebody comes to buy something, I know how to measure him, and I know when I fit him, he gets a perfect suit, because I know every step of the way how to measure a person. My name is Martin Greenfield, and I'm the tailor for all presidents. I was born in the Carpathian Mountains in Czechoslovakia. I was taken when I was very young in Auschwitz. My family, I lost. They died, the Germans killed them. It wasn't an easy trip for me. <laughs> they gave me different kind of jobs, but I always tried to do my job so I could survive, because my father always said, think about surviving. First time, I had a lot of trouble, because in those days I was so young, I didn't know how to use the needle and thread. I eventually wound up with one shirt that I was able to save and I was able to wear. And that shirt I wore all through the concentration camp. I arrived in America in 1947. I started to work here as a boy, as a floor boy. I always learned the trade, so they promoted me, promoted me till I became in charge of the place. We made suits for many, many people, many famous people, and uh, presidents I dressed. President Clinton, President Obama came to see me, and he came on a Saturday. I had to all spend the whole day with him. I could sit here the rest of the day to tell you how many people we made suits for. In order to create a business, you have to learn how to do things right and to teach your sons to do the same thing and they are better than me. My two sons, Jay and Todd. Because of them, I'm still here working. Otherwise, why would I be here? I honor the people because without the people, I'm nobody. I have employees that come from every country that you could mention. I don't care if we have them black, white, and this. I don't see no color in people. All my life, I started like I was nobody. But I always became somebody because of my ability to, to learn, to learn and to do the job the best. I never thought about the success. <laughs> I'm always happy every day that I have still held to come in to work here.